Dzień dobry. Mam prawdziwy lub fałszywy quiz o Polsce. Or in other words, I have a real or false, true or false quiz about Poland. There are 15 questions. I'm going to see how many I can get right. If you do enjoy this, make sure you like and subscribe. So, number one. Poland borders Russia. Now, I think this may be a trick question because I know there is a little part. Um, is it, would it be? No, it's not quite an enclave. Um, but to the north east, there is Kaliningrad and that is Russian. Now, so Poland doesn't border the full part of, Pol uh, of Russia. But it does border that little section between Poland and Lithuania. So it has to be true because technically it does border Russia. Okay, let's see. True? Oh, true. Okay. The Danabi passes through Poland. Now, I assume that's a river. I don't think it does. I think that's southern part of Germany uh, and below. I don't think it's I don't think it's one of the rivers that goes through Poland. You've obviously got the Vistula, but I don't know of any others. And I'm pretty sure that the Danube, Danube passes through Germany and then below, probably through Czechia. Uh, so I'm going to say false. I don't think that is correct. Okay. Poland did not exist as an independent country throughout the 19th century. Now, that's yes and no. So there was a big part of it where they were obviously um, under German rule, then under Soviet rule um, for a long time. Got the independence back in 1991. Uh, I think the Solidarity Movement started in 89. And they got it back in 91, sort of. So I'm going to say that is true. Um, it wasn't the whole of the 19th century. Hang on. Is the 19th century... 20th century, 21st. Is the 19th century actually the 1800s? Or is it... Oh, that's confusing. Because I always get confused. Okay, that may be where I get it slightly wrong because is the 19th century the 1800s or is the 19th century the 1900s? Okay, I'm going to assume it's the 1900s. Yeah. Okay, the colours of the Polish flag are red and white or white and red. Yes, that one's an easy one. Okay, more than 50% of people belong to Eastern Orthodox Church. I think that's probably true. Yeah, that's got to be true, isn't it? Because there are a lot of Orthodox Christians, um, or Catholics, should I say. Um, and I think the more strict ones are the Orthodox. So, true. Okay. Polish uses the... Cyrillic alphabet? I don't even know what that alphabet is. I'm learning it, but I'm sure Poland still more or less uses kind of Latin, Roman, whatever you want to call it. So I'm going to say false. Might be wrong. Poland's population is shrinking. I can't see any country's pol um, population shrinking, to be fair. So surely not. I'm going to say false because it can't be shrinking. Um I, I can't see it. Can, can you? In today's day and age, where there is plenty of food, a population can't reduce, surely. Although you could say is, are more women working longer and therefore um, not having children? But even then, it's not like it's under Chinese rule where they had the one child per household limit, is it? Which they got rid of. I'm going to say population shrinking, false. Okay. The currency is the złoty. True. That one's easy. Okay. The solidarity movement resisted Nazi occupation. Incorrect. That is false because 
uh, it was resisting the Soviet occupation because after World War Two, the Germans came in. Then they obviously were defeated. The Brits and French, the Allied forces basically allowed the Soviets to take over. Um, and obviously Soviet control was rubbish. And the solidarity movement, we learned, I learned about it a lot in Wrocław, for example, um, with all the gnomes. It was the Soviet occupation. So false. It was not Nazi. It was Soviet. Next one. Goulash is a traditional Polish dish. Now, goulash is Hungarian. However, I know the Poles sort of have made their own style, but goulash is still Hungarian. So I can only say that it is false. Maybe some Poles be like, no, 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 it's Polish. I, I'm pretty sure it's Hungarian. So, yeah, I don't know whether or not some of these will be like trick questions. We'll see. Poland is larger by area than the United Kingdom. True. That's got to be true. Because United Kingdom's pretty small, isn't it? So I can't see that being being false. So Poland is certainly bigger by la uh, you know, bigger by area than the United Kingdom. Or now I'm second guessing myself, to be honest. No, no, it's got to be. Poland has got to be bigger. It's not necessarily I don't think it's got a bigger population because uh, the United Kingdom population is quite large. I think it's a smaller population, but a larger area size. Yes. Okay. Gdansk used to be known as Danzig. I think that's true because it was part of Germany then. So I'm going to say it's true. What was v Wrocław? I'm just, am I getting confused? Um, yeah, no. Gdansk is definitely Danzig, but now I'm thinking v Wrocław wasn't Wrocław. Brensław? Brenslow? Something like that. Anyway, okay, I'm pretty sure it used to be called Danzig. There are wild polar bears in Poland. Is there wild polar bears in Poland? Maybe? It's a bison on the... It's a bison that's on the vodka. So it, I mean, it's not that. Um, is there? You would think not. However, Poland can get quite cold. Poland is kind of two opposites. The UK is sort of in between. And Poland is like cold or really hot. Um, why would they ask it? Okay, I, I'm going to say yes. I'm going to say true. It's probably wrong, but I'm going to say true just in case. Olympic Games have been held in Poland. Have they? No, the Euros did in 2012, and that's when they built a lot of stadiums. But I don't think Poland would have had the facilities to host an Olympics. So I'm going to say no... I'm going to say false. Uh, no, it can't. Unless it was like the Euros, where it was kind of hosted by two countries, but I don't think it was. So, false. No, Poland has not held an Olympics. And then last of all, number 15, mass is commonly celebrated with vodka instead of wine. That's I. I reckon this is kind of trying to trick me because Poland is known for its vodka and people drink vodka a lot. But wine is the, the blood of Christ and all that nonsense. So I'm going to say false. That cannot be true. Surely not. Right, let's finish the quiz. See how well we've done. So the results are in. Let's see. So Poland borders Russia. I was correct. Um, and it is an enclave. Uh, so it borders the Russian enclave of Kaliningrad get in there. So I wasn't sure if it was kind of a trick question um, because I was thinking, is it talking about the main part? But no, I got it spot on. Excellent. Okay. The Danabi passes through Poland. It doesn't. It does not. So I got that one correct as well. Poland did not exist as an independent country throughout the 19th century. So yeah, I assume that meant 
1900s. And I got that one correct as well. Uh, amazing when you look at the percentages of people who have answered this. Yeah, not quite high, but not everyone's getting it right. Ah, oh, no. Uh, more than 50% of people belong to the Eastern Orthodox Church. No. Uh, more than 90% belong to the Catholic Church. I didn't know there was a difference. I, di I didn't even know there was a difference. I was just assuming it was basically the same Catholic, but Eastern Orthodox may be a little bit stricter. Oh, okay, never mind. I was roughly on the right lines there. Polish use the Kyrillic alphabet. Yes, that was a guess because I didn't really know what the Kyrillic alphabet was. What is the Kyrillic alphabet? Is that like what Chinese, Mandarin and all that is? Or is it like the Hindu writing? I don't know. Okay. Poland's population is shrinking. Now, is it because this was in, this was quiz is from 2021, 2021. So maybe it's the fact that Poles are leaving to find work and things like that. I don't know. And maybe it's an older population. I don't know. Let me know your thoughts. Why is population in Poland shrinking? I don't know. Okay. Currency is the what? Zwarte. Easy peasy. Got that one bang on. Uh, the solidarity movement resisted the communist Soviet regime. Easy peasy. Uh, goulash is traditional Polish dish. False. And I was correct. It is Hungarian. A lot of people didn't know that one. Poland is larger by area than the United Kingdom. What? How did only 76% of people know that? Crazy. Um, Gdansk used to be known as Danzig. Correct. Okay. <laughs> there are wild polar bears in Poland. I just didn't have a clue. So I was like, maybe it's asking me for a reason. No, there are no wild polar bears, as probably expected. Uh, the Olympic Games have been held in Poland. No, they haven't. And mass is commonly celebrated with vodka instead of wine. No, it is not. Uh, and looking at the answers, I got three wrong. So 12 out of 15 for ones that were slightly more difficult. I will take that. All day long. Well, I expected you to do that quiz with me. If you are Polish, I expected you to get 15 out of 15. So do let me know in the comments, how many did you get correct? I'm hoping um, that through all my learning and through all my trips to Poland, some knowledge is paying off and it's showing in this quiz. It wasn't the most difficult quiz. I'm not saying that, but there are plenty of people that would have got more wrong. So I think I've done okay. Uh, the three I got wrong, the Orthodox Catholics and whatnot, I reckon I could have gone either way. Polar bears, it was simply a guess. And I just did false for, a, for a jokes. Uh, and the shrinkage, if you know, you know. If you don't, you don't. But I hope you enjoyed this. A little bit different to normal. Thank you so much. Please do like and subscribe, my friends, and I will catch you next time. Do Virginia.